After the highs of 2020, when Franco Morbidelli finished as the runner-up in the title fight, he hasn't been able to produce the results that are expected of him. He has just a single podium to his name since 2021. This has led to suggestions that Yamaha may drop him despite having signed him till the end of 2023. Franco looked at this from a realistic point of view while speaking to Motorsport Total. I'm your host Dylan Shelley and first up on Moto World is Franco Morbidelli's future in trouble despite contract. Franco started off by looking at the effects of the news that Suzuki will be departing from the sport at the end of 2022 and how it affects him. Personally, I don't think this news is good for the sport. It's not positive that something like this is happening. This new situation is sure to shake up the market because a world champion is without a bike and another very strong rider in the category is without a bike, so that changes things. He then looked at his own future in the sport. Nobody can be certain about the future. Who can be sure today about what the future holds for them? Nobody. Anyone who looks calmly into the future is stupid. Contractually I'm calm, but who knows? Franco signed off by revealing if he is worried. I wonder why I keep getting asked this question. I suppose the reason is that if a rider doesn't perform as expected from him, he is supposed to feel insecure. I trust my team, and I trust their contract loyalty. They're all good people, and I trust that I'll get good results to clear any possible doubts about my 2023 contract. Fast feed. Defending world champion Fabio Quattararo stated that it's been a long time since he felt the pressure. When you know your potential and you know that you can be fighting for victories and podiums, in my case, that I won a championship, I already know the pressure. The pressure I came under in 2021 in the last two races was very tough when the title was at stake. Now, my only objective is to fight for the win, and I don't think about the championship every time I get on the bike. KTM's test rider Danny Pedrosa feels that each rider has their own way of going through these situations with injuries, especially because each circumstance is different. It's a process we never want anyone to go through, and the plan is always to go right the first time because it's the best for everyone. In Mark's case, many champions have suffered similar situations. The mental aspect is important, as is being surrounded by people who look out for your interests. Yamaha team director Massimo Merigali doesn't think not having the right crew is the problem that isn't putting Frankie in the situation they'd all like him to be in. He is satisfied with the working group and we also have strong confidence in his current crew. We are working to make him comfortable on the bike with what we have, and I think the people we have are very good. RNF Yamaha's Andrea Davizioso conceded that he is not capable of being competitive on the 2022 M1. Fortunately, I competed in 2012 with Yamaha, because if I hadn't competed in 2012, everyone could say with Yamaha you can't be competitive. It's not the truth, it's just for different reasons, because MotoGP changes, because bikes change, opponents change, the way you have to ride the bike is different. There are a lot of small reasons, and if you put it all together, what I'm experiencing now happens. Should Yamaha honour its 2023 contract with Franco Morbidelli? Head over to my community page to vote in the poll and let me know what you think in the comments. And if you like this video, feel free to subscribe and check out my others for all the latest in the world of MotoGP.